Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Welcome to a new video where we're diving into an exciting breakthrough in the world of AI, the Genspark Super Agent. This new AI tool from China is currently causing a stir and is being considered a real game changer in the field of autonomous AI agents. In this video, you'll find out what Genspark can do, how it differs from other tools like Manis, and what advantages and disadvantages it has. The Genspark Super Agent is a universal AI assistant developed by a Chinese company. Eric, a representative of Genspark AI, describes it as a fast and reliable general purpose AI agent that can take care of your everyday tasks. Unlike conventional AI tools like ChatGPT, the Genspark Super Agent is designed to act fully autonomously, to plan, and to use various tools independently. The tool was founded by Jing, a former BYU manager, and positions itself as a direct competitor to Manis, another autonomous AI agent that drew attention in March 2024 by calling itself the world's first fully autonomous AI agent. Technically speaking, Genspark is what's known as a mixture of agent system. It combines eight different large language models, over 80 specialized toolkits, and extensive internally curated datasets. This combination allows the system to deploy task-specific mini-agents or toolsets to handle a variety of tasks. From generating marketing websites and analyzing large datasets to converting YouTube interviews into concise presentations. What truly makes Genspark revolutionary is not just the combination of these technologies, but how they're orchestrated. The AI independently decides which tools to use for each subtask, a major step toward a truly autonomous digital assistant that goes beyond simple commands. One of the most impressive features is its ability to create detailed travel plans. In a demo, Genspark was asked to plan a five-day trip to San Diego. The agent used a travel tool that accessed a travel data set, a deep research tool to look up public transport options, and a map tool to calculate distances between attractions. The result was a complete itinerary created in minutes tailored to specific needs like walking distances, restaurant preferences, and use of public transportation. A particularly innovative feature that sets Genspark apart from Manis is its ability to make phone calls. Using the Call For Me tool, the AI can actually call restaurants or service providers with a human-like voice and make reservations. In one demonstration, the agent called a restaurant and successfully booked a table, even communicating dietary restrictions and food preferences and responding to questions from the host in real time. This feature could be especially useful for people dealing with language barriers or different time zones. However, it also raises serious ethical and legal questions. Who's responsible if false information is given? How can it be ensured that people on the other end know they're speaking to an AI? Are there transparency requirements that need to be followed? And not least, how are the conversation data stored and protected. These questions are especially relevant since voice imitation is increasingly being used for fraud. Genspark can also create personalized videos based on your interests. In one demo, the agent was asked to create a video showing how to prepare calamari and cod with a pistachio crust. First, the AI researched the recipe, then used a video generation tool to create clips for each step and finally added sound effects to each clip using an audio generation tool. The result was a complete cooking video without any manual editing. Another impressive ability is the creation of creative video content. In a particularly interesting example, an image of Banana Girl was uploaded with the prompt to present her as a news anchor. The Genspark agent developed a concept for a news presenter with pink hair, wrote detailed scene instructions for a modern news show, automatically generated prompts for the AI video generation, and planned dynamic graphics and visual elements to complement the presentation. The agent described in great detail how a Woman with striking pink hair energetically reports on current news with expressive gestures emphasizing the urgency of each story. Next to her, dynamically animated headlines and images appear, enhancing her narrative. As the concept evolved, the agent even created an expanded version with a news anchor in a chic modern news studio, professionally reporting on AI news, while high-tech screens in the background display dynamic graphics and visualizations illustrating technological advancements. Genspark can also create and design entire websites. In one demonstration, the agent was asked to create a website for an SEO agency. The result was a professional-looking site with appealing design, personalized content, and functional elements, all without templates or manual coding. Both Genspark and Manis are autonomous AI agents, but there are some key differences. 
GenSpark seems to deliver results faster than Manis in tests. In a direct comparison of creating a travel plan for Japan, GenSpark took about 6 minutes, while Manis took 18. GenSpark offers features that Manis currently lacks, especially the ability to make phone calls and generate videos. When comparing website generation, GenSpark appeared to deliver more personalized and visually appealing results. While Manis relied more on generic stock images, Manis seems to focus more on larger technical tasks, whereas Genspark leans more into everyday scenarios like restaurant bookings or social media content creation. An interesting point is that Manis plans to release parts of its system as open source later this year, which could give it an edge in terms of community support, bug fixes, and new features. A big plus for Genspark is that it offers a free version. Users get 200 credits per day, which is enough for several complex tasks. There's also a premium plan for $239 per year, which gives you 10,000 credits per month priority access to new agents, and access to image and video generation models. In comparison, Manus costs about $200 per month, making Genspark a much more affordable option. Despite all the impressive features, there are some critical points to consider. Like all multi-agent systems, the question is how often it fails on complex tasks or produces strange results. In my own tests, I found that Genspark excels at simple tasks, but sometimes loses track on complex multi-step ones like analyzing large data sets with specific requirements. There's also a fundamental issue with consistency. Sometimes you have to rephrase your request several times to get good results. Genspark hasn't published full details of its internal architecture, which raises questions about how it works. The lack of transparency is especially worrying when it comes to security. For example, the generated content is hosted on a Genspark subdomain, but it's unclear how long this content is stored, who has access to it, and how it might be used for training or other purposes. The privacy policies are vague, especially regarding the handling of sensitive information used for personalized content. Particularly, the ability to make phone calls and generate videos raises concerns about privacy, and potential misuse. Just imagine this technology being used uh, for automated spam calls or to create realistic deepfakes. The ethical implications are enormous, and currently there's barely any regulatory framework in place to properly govern such autonomous AI systems. In my tests, I found that while the phone call function is impressive, it doesn't explicitly inform the other party that they're speaking to an AI, a potential legal and ethical issue. The development of autonomous AI agents like Genspark and Manis shows where AI technology is heading towards smarter, more autonomous systems that can complete complex tasks without human intervention. The founders of Genspark admit that solving real-world problems is much harder than we thought, but they're super excited about the progress we've made so far. They see their super agent as a tool for everyone and for everyday tasks. Whether Genspark or Manis prevails will likely depend on how they evolve and whether users find these agents helpful enough to integrate into their daily lives. The Genspark super agent represents a significant step toward what many would call AGI, that stands for Artificial General Intelligence AI systems that can act autonomously and handle a wide variety of tasks. With its ability to plan trips, make calls, create videos, and design websites, Genspark offers a glimpse into a future where AI assistants can handle complex tasks for us. While there are still questions about performance, transparency, and ethical implications, Genspark is definitely an exciting tool worth keeping an eye on, especially considering its free availability. What do you specifically think about Genspark's phone call feature? Would you be willing to let an AI make reservations on your behalf? And where do you personally draw the line? Would you allow an AI agent to handle important business calls or even personal matters? I'm especially curious to hear your thoughts on the ethical implications of this new technology. Share your experiences with similar tools in the comments and let me know what specific tasks you would trust an autonomous agent with and which ones absolutely not. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you hit the bell, you'll even get notified when we upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.